happy friday and welcome back to the vlog this is vlogmas part three <laughs> This morning, as Mia was going out the door to leg scully, Ingmar announced that we need to choose a shoe to put in the window, because that's the Icelandic tradition, for the Yule lads who start arriving tonight. Yeah. Which, personally, I thought we had already clarified that this wasn't going to start until next year. Send me a letter. <laughs> but it seems that I have lost this one and that the Viking who can't necessarily be relied upon to assist the Yule lads, has decided that it starts now. So we better get on it. I should have seen this coming, really. So basically, for the next 12 days, so leading up to Christmas, Mia will put a shoe in the window, and one of the cheeky little criminal Yule lads will arrive every single night and bring her a small present in the shoe. These presents range anything from a clementine up to a small toy or an item of clothing and if she is naughty or cheeky or bad or whatever then there is always the threat of a potato to be found in the shoe. This is going to get quite um, entertaining because we now have two advent calendars, gifts in a shoe and she has a stocking. How do you not spoil a child at Christmas time? Growing up, we always had Friday as a Friday tidy, so that's what I've done this morning, is just run around, do the bathroom, and just kind of pick up and make the beds and all that sort of stuff. Now I am in the kitchen. I've just made a banana loaf, and for those of you who know me, you'll know that that is my go-to when baking. I have a friend coming round. We're having a kind of distanced coffee catch-up, which oh, will be so nice. I miss seeing people and just having a good chat on the sofa. He knows I'm always making banana loaf. It is a chocolate chip banana loaf as well. And I might also put some more Christmas cookies, get the dough ready and then put it in the fridge. And then if these cookies that I made the other night, the Christmas tree ones don't work out, then we've got backup cookie dough ready. There we go, two rounds of Christmas biscuit dough ready to be rolled out and made into shapes when Mia's home. <laughs> I got a bit distracted. I curled my hair, put on a face of makeup, but now I'm back at the desk and I'm getting some orders out for the end of the week and yeah, packaging them up. And that's pretty much the end of the orders for Christmas because at the moment, postage is taking so long because there are not really a lot of flights out of the country. So a lot of things are having to go by um, by sea, by ship, So, which is kind of ridiculous. So things are taking up to four, five, six weeks, especially for American orders. So if you are watching and you're waiting on something, I'm really sorry. It's completely out of my hands. I literally ship it the day that your order comes in so that it can be with you as soon as possible. But times are crazy, so I think a few things will come after Christmas at this rate, but I'm trying my hardest, doing my part, so I'll get these out to everyone. Ready? Oh yeah! Delicious! Okay, I've just picked up Mia from Leg Scully and we ran to the post office. Basically, I think that because of all of the timing of shipment and everything that's going on currently with delays with postage and all that stuff, I think that we're going to close the shop on Monday for international orders. So yeah, when you watch this, this might be a bit too late, sorry. But for 
um, orders within Iceland I'll give it one more week and then close the shop for a little bit of a holiday and to kind of restock and just go back through the whole process of checking everything over again before we open up again in the new year. Ready, steady, go! go. Woo! <laughs> Yay! Go daddy, go! We were having a Friday night pizza party. Daddy got some pizzas. They're in the front. And Mia is going to have an overnight sleepover with Auntie Ellie. Yay! <laughs> Hey guys, it's Saturday. I've got a coffee. The house is quiet. I'm all on my own. It is 11 o'clock and I've had a nice slow morning where I had breakfast in bed and then I watched some YouTube videos and I'm just chilling out at home. This is amazing. <laughs> this is all because the wonderful Ella Franca, Auntie Ella, took me out overnight last night and so Ingemar and I could just do our own thing. After dinner we came back here, we both basically just were in separate rooms doing our own thing anyway, um, and just had a really good uninterrupted night's sleep and woke up this morning. I still woke up and I swear I could hear ask for George, as in Peppa Pig's brother. Um, but she wasn't here, there's no way I could have heard her, but anyway, that's my mind. I obviously miss her, <laughs> I've only been away from her for a few hours, but she's having a lovely time. I did see her this morning downstairs, she didn't spot me, but I'm a sneaky mum, I've always got my eye on her. So this morning, and this is hilarious, <laughs> let me know in the comments down below what's the best gift that you have ever received from anyone, from your husband, your partner, your friend, your family member, whatever, like sarcastically good. Because last year, and I am very grateful for this, last year I got a bathroom sink from Ingemar. <laughs> Which wasn't my main present, obviously, but I absolutely loved it. And this year, by the looks of things, my dreams are coming true and I'm getting new doors <laughs> for the apartment. So this morning, Ingemar and his friend Victor, who is amazing and has helped us out with so many different little jobs around the apartment, they've gone out to order the doors and hopefully if they're in stock, they'll bring them home today because all we need are three doors. They sent me a website yesterday to pick which colour, which was hilarious because there's only three. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll have seen the Viking basically said to me, pick which doors you want and I said but well, hold on there's only three available and he said yeah babe we only need three doors. <laughs> there was only a dark kind of wood a white and then a lighter which we're gonna go with the lighter because it kind of goes with everything else that's in the apartment the wood and so hopefully this weekend I might have new doors which I haven't shared this because you don't care about this but our bathroom door is broken and it's the only place you can get privacy and if you have a toddler, you know <laughs> if there's a way of them getting in, they're gonna be there whilst you're having your private moment on the toilet. So the last few weeks have been entertaining with Mia kicking down the door because there's no handle on it anymore. I'll show you the state of our hallway right now. Amar, thank you. He has been sweeping up after them so at least they're tidying up as they go but right now the door frame is off, the handle is off, and I tied a ribbon. We've just been using that for, for now. And we're going to hopefully have one, two, three new doors today. And I was pushing my luck. I've requested that the threshold be changed on the kitchen door as well. So that's the excitement for now. For the next maybe half an hour hour I have the, pay, the place, well, place to myself. So I'm going to just sit down, write up a to-do list for the next week because I need to finish off some design work for clients, get that finished for the end of year. I've 
got some emails that I really need to get sent out for jobs starting next year just kind of close business for 2020 and start up a little bit for 2021 and then I need to start wrapping gifts which might sound like it's a bit early but I just don't want to be rushing anything kind of the lead up to Christmas so I'm going to just get organized so that I can focus on vlog content and Instagram content because I'm really enjoying Vlogmas. I think it's because I'm not putting pressure on myself and I'm being really open and honest, which I see that you guys appreciate. And I am so, so grateful for the kind community that we have here, you guys and your kind comments, because I am telling a lot of people <laughs> what I'm going through in life. And it feels good to actually be honest and to talk it through, even though I'm talking to a camera, it's kind of <laughs> quite therapeutic. I do think that it does help to be honest in videos because it just makes it so much easier to actually create them in the first place because you're not holding back and you're not being like a, a different person you're not playing pretense so yeah i hope that you do appreciate that and i definitely appreciate your comments from the last week's video update the viking just messes to say are white doors okay and i think white doors are probably gonna be fine honestly it's a door but it might mean that i paint the hallway there's a lot of off whites going on and oh, it's just gonna bug me so it might, I mean, it might work out for the best. I'm just gonna go with it because procrastination is kind of the key here. <laughs> and we're trying to avoid that big time. So I'm just gonna get the doors, just gonna go with it. Famous last words. We've got my little buddy back. Yay! Mia's having an ice lolly. She went into the freezer and got it for herself. This is risky business. Mia, yeah. Mia got an ice lolly. Sticky, sticky, sugary. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh! Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're sticky. A sticky toddler. Ah! Don't worry, she's not having the whole thing. No. <laughs> Come on. You're too tall, so you only recognise my face because in this camera I've tuned my face and Mia's face in because I have my priorities. Why didn't you not include any pretty faces? <laughs> Mia's there. Yeah. Today's mission seems to be a success. We cooked our Christmas meal. It's going to be turkey breasts on the bone. I don't know what you call it abroad, but we call it... Turkey crown. Yeah. So I'm so excited about Christmas that I've actually cooked the Christmas meal two weeks before Christmas. I'm gonna freeze it and just to make it easy, but it couldn't have been easier. It's turkey crown. It looks amazing. I'm gonna test it. This is my crowning achievement. I think I've done it. I think that saved Christmas. And now we're gonna let it cool here. Then we're gonna put this in the freezer. It's gonna be there for the next couple of weeks. Then we'll take it up two days or the day before Christmas, thaw it out and cook it and warm it up before dinner on Christmas day. Some time later. So today has been quite a different day than normal, normal weekends. This morning Ingmar and his friend Victor did all the door stuff which I kind of updated you on. We ended up, I think, we, have we ordered? Turn yeah, right. Thank door. you, Maps Lady. We've ordered three white doors. We've gone with white in the end. We're just gonna get on with it. No procrastinating. Um, and then, yeah, Ingmar did all the Christmas cooking, oh, the meat, and I went out to see my friend, which was funny, because we went to like a playground with her kids, and it felt very strange not to have my child there. Mia was still napping at her auntie's. So we finally have Mia back. We are now out in Hafnefjordur and we are going to find the Santa Claus Coca-Cola train, yep. which roams around Reykjavik. We're looking for a container of Coke. <laughs> They call it the coke train here, um, or it's referred to as that. But basically there's a Christmas market down here. There's loads of Christmas decorations that we're just passing some. And our friends are also here, Turn so we're right, gonna socially right. distance bun bump into them. And it'll be super fun. 
that's where the Christmas market is. It's just so busy. <laughs> you can easily socially distance here. I think let's go on the road and see if they're up that way. If anyone remembers the vlogs from last year, I'll link it up here. But I did bring Mia here and we did a, a nice little look around the Christmas market. So you'll get to see it in kind of more normal situation. <laughs> Holidays are coming, holidays are coming. Ah, walk around this park. Isn't it gorgeous? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's even decorations in the trees. Yeah, snowing would be beautiful. Oh. Wow. Hi. <laughs> yeah. You got Auntie Charlotte. Mia can't walk for dancing. <laughs> Are you singing, missus? in the trees. Some little squirrels in the woods. Are you having a little nosy? <laughs> With Isolde. And there's even hot chocolate. Skull. Thank you. Cheers. Yes. Merry Christmas. Hey, hey. Mia, who's this? Yeah. Penguin. Yeah. yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> Nobody comment down below how dangerous because. <laughs> That's up to the Viking. <laughs> what did you think of that? Well, that was kind of awesome. It was really good. A little good. underwhelming though because I thought the trucks were bigger. It was really, really good fun. It was, I'm so glad that we made the effort to come out here and meet up, meet up, bump into some friends. Yeah. And they had hot chocolate with them. And we walked around that little garden with all the lights. It was so nice. So I'm really glad that we did that and that the weather was all right. We're not too cold and wet. We've just carried Mia from mm -hmm. all that way as well. So my arms are aching. But yeah, it was good fun. Good fun time. Good morning. It's Sunday morning and you're joining us for the third Sunday in Advent. And we're just about to do church. Okay. <laughs> Stop taking the mick out of me. I burnt my thumb. I cooked dinner and I burnt my thumb. Now I can't serve. <laughs> I burnt it on the steam from the potatoes. Okay, so Ingmar is taking over, taking charge. Look at this. Ta-da! Unbelievable. Magnificent. I'm great at cooking. <laughs> I basically just had a massive long catch up with Ayanna over in America, who is one of my friends that I was lecturer with in the university in India, and it was so nice to catch up with her. And she was saying that this COVID stuff has really made her feel like 
she wants to just travel more. Uh, which I think she's maybe the first person I've heard that from because most people say they don't want to travel now and they're scared to travel and it's made them really conscious of the environment and how much they've been traveling and whatever but actually I feel the same I just want to get on a plane I said to her I'll meet her in New York or obviously when things have calmed out or the Caribbean with cocktails Caribbean. on the beach and a buffet and a big swimming pool for Mia yeah. oh, luxury The first Advent Sunday, the second, oh, and the third. Yay! <laughs> Yay, Mia! Happy Advent Sunday! It's Monday morning. <laughs> the Viking is trying to get out the door. I'm ready, I'm waiting for him. Yeah, As because usual. I trust you. Mia is already at school. I have dusted off my swimming bag. Literally, there is a layer of dust on it because the pools have reopened. They reopened last week. So I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that the rush is already over. And today, when everyone should be at work, the pool will be nice and quiet. So those who are self-employed can enjoy a swim and a hot tub because everything's outdoors. So hopefully it'll be a little bit safer as well and I'll feel comfortable and I'll enjoy glorious geothermal hot water under a starry, starry sky because the sun doesn't come up for another two and a half, five three hours. hours, five hours, yeah. yeah. It's just after 10 o'clock in the morning, the sun is starting to come up and I've just arrived at the swimming pool, so it looks all right. There's not too many cars in the car park, which is great. So I'm gonna get cracking, enjoy a swim and then go home and get on with work and start editing this video. A new refreshed revived Sonia. I just tried my hardest to say thank you to the staff there because they must put in so much extra work to keep everything clean and to be on top of all the regulations and putting themselves in a kind of difficult position so I just I really really try to say thank you to them um that was just so worth it now the sun is up I was in the hot tub watching the sunrise I mean sun it's not it looks bright on camera it's not that bright this is daylight in Iceland um it is now let's just see I think it's like 11 o'clock I don't know where the time went up past 11 <laughs> I seriously enjoyed that I did 12 lengths I think which wasn't a huge amount but I am totally out of shape unfit now after all of this I did my best and I didn't want to exhaust myself so I enjoyed the hot tubs I got into the jet and fully beat myself up with it it felt so good and then I had a nice shower all to myself there was nobody in the showers there was only maybe three other people in the big hot tub one other person in the smaller hot tub and then there was a lot of people in the lane so that was quite difficult i was holding my breath as you passed them in the, the lane beside you but it was so worth it